Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am doing a dark green smoky eye with a gold glittery lower lash line. This is really festive and fun for St. Patty's Day. And I also wanted to show you my shirt that you probably seen in last year's St. Patty's tutorial. And you'll definitely get noticed when you're out. I hope you guys enjoy. First, I'm gonna apply an eyelid primer by e.l.f. to give the eyeshadow something tacky to stick to. Also, it's gonna eliminate any discoloration on the eyelid. If you don't have an eyelid primer, a creamy concealer will do the trick as well. Next, I'm taking a bronzer by CoverGirl from the Queen Collection and a blending brush and I'm going to apply this into my crease area to give my eyes some more dimension and contour. This is going to make my eyes appear more deeper set. I'm also dragging this along my lower lash line with a medium sized angle brush. Next, I'm going back in with the blending brush and just smoking everything out and making sure it is all smoothly transitioned. Next, I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rocky Mountain Green and applying this all over my eyelid. I'm bringing it just slightly above my natural crease line. Next with my ring finger, I'm gently feathering the edge of the green color. Try not to tug at your eyelids since the skin around your eye is very sensitive. You want to repeat this on the lower lash line as well. Next, I'm going in with this dark green eyeshadow by Hard Candy and it's very shimmery. I've been really into the shimmery eyeshadows lately if you can't tell. But first, I'm going to spray my flat eyeshadow brush with my e.l.f. Mist and Set. This is going to give the eyeshadow more vibrancy and it's also going to give it that glossy look. And you really just want to pack this on in a patting motion. And also drag it along the lower lash line. Now I'm going back in with that CoverGirl bronzer, but this time I'm using the crease brush and I'm going to deepen the crease color, giving it more dimension. Again, just drag it under the lower lash line, letting it peek through just slightly under the green. Next, I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and I'm going to smoke out the brown color so it's smoothly blended. Now I'm 
taking my e.l.f. gold glitter liner and I'm going to apply this all over the lower lash line but I want to concentrate it more on the inner corner and dragging it out towards the outer corner. I went ahead and added a dark brown eye pencil by Wet n Wild into my waterline. Now I'm taking another e.l.f. liquid liner and this time it's in plum which you would think would be more purple but it's actually very brown and that's why I used it today. And I'm just making a simple thin line on the top lash line and I'm not going to even make a wing. Next, I'm taking my waterproof e.l.f. mascara and I'm going to apply this to my lower lashes and also the top lashes as well. As for falsies, I'm using the number 1714s by e.l.f. in combination with my KISS eyelash adhesive in black. Okay, so that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and give it a try. And if you guys decide to go out for St. Patty's Day, please be safe and don't drink and drive. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye! For more pictures of this tutorial, go check out my Facebook and Instagram page. See you next time.